Australians are famously rugged and hard to shock, but recently a sight in the night sky left even the most unflappable Aussies exclaiming, Crikey! February 25th, 2021. Residents of Queensland are going about their business when this tears open the sky. Twin bright streaks tracing the same flight path, making this a peculiar video even by today's UFO standards. What the f is that? What the hell is it? That is insane. Look, it's just disappeared. Take a closer look. At first glance, they look like meteors. But do meteors fall in a row like this? And do they have such long tails? Hundreds report seeing these streaking objects. And some suspect they are somehow connected to a secret base almost 1,000 miles away. Another area in Australia that's been known for curious activity would be Pine Gap, Australia. There have been very frequent recordings of all kinds of unexplained things in the night sky in that area. Pine Gap is a top secret American base in the Australian outback that we know tracks and spies on satellites. Many also believe it conceals an underground city where scientists develop a wide variety of clandestine projects involving UFOs. There are numerous stories of flying disks appearing in the sky over the base, and it's rumored to contain a plasma gun capable of shooting down anything in low orbit. It's alleged that there is a lot of experimentation and dark technology that has gone on there. Construction at Pine Gap started in 1966, the height of the Cold War. So it's often referred to as Australia's Area 51. But is there really a connection between Pine Gap and these streaking lights? We turn the video over to the experts. First, we ask astronomer Mark D'Antonio if these flaming objects could just be strange meteors. Meteors move anywhere from 10 to 20,000 kilometers per hour when they hit our atmosphere. This is moving way too slow. It's only moving at a few times the speed of sound. So could these objects have originated from Pine Gap? Our experts look at the key evidence that the objects themselves are on fire and say no. A plasma ray would look like a laser beam or a bolt of lightning, and an exploding missile would send parts flying in all directions, not in this orderly row. So could they be UFOs? If so, NASA's Bob Anderson says an advanced civilization would be unlikely to construct spacecraft that crossed a galaxy only to burn up on arrival. You would not expect it to heat up like that and burn off part of its shield to get into the Earth's atmosphere. Of course, not everything in the sky is a meteor, UFO, or secret weapon. This is sort of the characteristic of a re-entering piece of space debris of some kind. The lightweight materials burn up and fall away first, and the heavy materials like the engines, those continue for quite some time. D'Antonio thinks another big clue is the specific location of the sighting. To the right of Australia in the Pacific is a location that's called the Satellite Graveyard. And when satellites are purposefully deorbited to crash back to Earth, they're deorbited into this one spot in the ocean. In fact, Australia is sandwiched between two areas where most satellites are deliberately crashed. More than 300 spacecraft have broken up and dropped there. They are the most remote regions of the ocean and farthest from populated areas. When D'Antonio digs deeper, he finds this object might be an especially big piece of space junk that's separated into these pieces upon re-entry. What this turned out to be was a Chinese long march that was sent to the satellite graveyard in the ocean. China's long march rocket has a massive booster measuring 35 feet long and 9 feet wide. With roughly one satellite crashing into the ocean every few weeks, D'Antonio has some advice. Be very careful when you're out there. You might get hit by a satellite. OK, joking aside, we're going to agree with D'Antonio and call this one space junk, an expired Chinese rocket. NASA has recently scolded the Chinese for what it considers irresponsible behavior in the disposal of expired space equipment.